Merc, FTL, and Warfighter. And then coming in from Ace, we will be seeing Merc, Striker, Warfighter, and Phantom. Yes, I do agree. We do need two COD casters. I did try getting some more casters, but all of them just so happened to be busy tonight. Tomorrow we will be working on that, and if not, it's going to definitely be on Sunday that we will be getting two call COD casters. <sighs> what is this follow drone you speak of? He is looking at his brand new Yeezys, as all the teammates will admire that. And they will be looking at his uh, sandal shoes, I think. So as you can see, we will be going over to Axion's POV first. So as you can see, all the players will be rotating to ball. One player is going to be going through mid. Well, technically this is mid. He will be going flanking around one side and let's see he will be getting the first kill. So he exit will be getting the first kill, but he is immediately picked off. So as you can see, no one from uh, both of the teams have the ball. It is will be in mid and he will be naded immediately and Jonathan will be able to uh, get the kill on to uh, Torg. As you can see, ball is going to be right next to Exxon and they will be throwing ball out of bounds. So it will be reset if I'm not mistaken. So it is currently right in middle so it will have around like seven seconds left before someone picks it up or it will be reset. So uh, Inaccurate will be getting the ball so he will be rushing Exion. so will he be going for the one point? He will be getting the one point and he does get the first point of both of these teams eight or zero two one. So in favor of eight. As you can see, multiple people are getting uh, killed off of Exion, so only one player will be alive right next to the ball, and he does get the ball. He does throw it over to 8th side, but it will bounce back, so he will be running to one player, and he does get the kill onto him. He will be immediately shut down, and uh, Magical will be getting the kill, so he will be pushed uh, by two of the players coming in from 8th. So Inaccurate will be getting the ball again and he will be rushing towards Exion's uh, police station. Two players from Exion will be outside. He will be going in for the double uh, points but he will only be able to get one because he did die off of it. So there will be lag coming in for both of these teams so it is currently uh, everyone's four barring. Can't tell if I'm lagging or what's it called if the other team or everyone's lagging as we speak. Let's go over to JFP OV. So they will be immediately throwing the ball out of bounds. Slump will be being shot at, but he will be rotating around. Alright, my controller randomly disconnected. But anyways, going back to it, so he will be getting running into a person, but he will be immediately shut down. So as you can see, Slump will be nading that one player, so uh, Inaccurate will be getting the kill. Oh, and there will be a shutdown coming in from 8. So Magical does miss that drone kill, will be hitting a car, but he does get immediately shut down, and one of the players did just fall off the map. Not sure who that was as we speak. Let's see, uh, TBNU will be rotating around. V 
very confused who's actually alive, who's not. The Jabe will be throwing the ball more towards the other side onto Walrun, but he does get immediately shut down. So eights are going to be aggressively holding down their bunker. One of the players from eight, or one of the players from Exxon does get the dunk, and they will be able to score two points coming in from Exxon. As you see, Torg does get one kill, and Jab is going to be able to clean up to the kill. So there are going to be two players down from Exxon, and Slum does get that huge double kill coming in for eight. So it is not going to be uh, 18 seconds. Will be able to get the final dunk? And no, he will be missing that one dunk. So it is going to look like it's going to be 2-2 uh, two, two, coming into next number, round number two. Yeah, from eight, there was uh, two of the points were thrown, but one of them was an attempt to dunk, but he did immediately die, so it was just a one point. Well, coming in from Exxon, they did get one dunk more towards the end. So good place coming in for both of the teams. This is a very close uplink between both of the teams. So it will at least be going into a game four. But if Hardpoint will be close by, it will be going into a game number five. So let's just go over to call it. The main map. The Death Eater will be getting the first kill coming in from his team. So he will be immediately shut down. So Anakit will be running through uh, one of the mids. And Jonathan does get a huge double kill coming in from both of the teams. So he will be running to players and he does get that one point conversion. So it will be up 3 2. So Torg is going to be throwing the ball more towards uh, eight place. So he will be running the ball. He will be throwing the ball into one point conversion, but misses it a little bit too high. So Inadequate will be throwing the ball out of bounds. All right, so Death Eater does get a huge double kill coming from both of the teams, and Jonathan will be able to shut him down. And Jonathan does get a huge double kill coming from both of these teams. He will be able to shut down, make that three, and he almost gets a fourth, but he does shut down three of the players, so that will be a four or five second respawn delay from Exion Gaming. The Death Eater will be going to, and trying to challenge Jonathan, but Jonathan is going off from both of the teams. He has the most amount of kills, 22 and 12. As you can see, Magical does get that double kill, but he will be immediately shut down. But Death Eater will be getting the ball, and he will be tossing. Actually, he will not be tossing, but he is going to continue running. He does get EMP, so his shield will be going down, but he is going to be getting blocked from both his teams. We'll be able to get the double kill, or double points, and he does get the double points. So Exxon is now back in the lead, 4-3, and he does get the huge double kill. Uh, Death Eater is just going off as we speak. As you can see, Slump does get the ball once again, so he will be running. He does run into that Exion player, and he does fist them. And uh, his teammate is there to save his life once again. But uh, they are going to be hitting that aggressive push, and he will be able to get the double points for coming in from eight. Slump will be able to get that one kill, and he is immediately shut down. So three players wore down coming in from eight. So, uh, Death Eater does get shut down immediately. So as you can see, Jonathan will be rushing the ball and all the players from 8th will be pushing forward for this ball. So he does uh, team kill his teammate just a little bit. The ball will be reset and he is going to be the only one alive. So he does have uh, his overdrive uh, in his pocket. So 
No, and okay. Oh, and Death Eater just gets goes and gets a huge triple kill from both of his teams. And he will be pushing forward, will be able to get the fourth. He does get the fourth kill, and he is currently hungry, and he's about to get another dunk in from his team. And he is fully streaked out, so Death Eater is just going off as we speak. He's currently 30 and 17. He's just going huge. The Icebark will be pushing, and he does get one kill, but he will be immediately shut down. So he will be using his streaks. He almost did get a full second uh, pair of streaks. Nothing will be being forced to be pushed back, and inadequate will be uh, have the ball. But who does have the ball currently right now? No one does have it, and uh, TBNU will be shut down. So all except one player from XM will be shut down. All will be thrown up in the air and uh, inadequate will be getting the one make that two kills coming in from eights So they will be pushing over into Exxon's uh, base So he will be able to shut down one almost a two and eights will be getting the two point So it is now a one point game. So if they could just get that one uh, Throw off from it and they'll be going to win this or tie it up Let's See 14 seconds will be on the clock and uh, John does get immediately shut down, but he will be uh, rushing towards uh, Thing. Will he be able to get that one point conversion? And he will not, and uh, Exxon will be able to win this map number three. GT to both of the teams. That was a huge and close match. So next match is going to apparently be uh, their HP on throwback. So that would be hard point. And let's see who would be winning this match. Because map number one, Exxon did win. Hard point 250 to 205 over eight so it's going to be a close match on all these maps pretty much yes map number one which is a 50 point game map number two was around 11 map number three was just a one point so i'm excited to see what the next maps are so we will be immediately going